It is May 21st. If you are friends with my little brother on Facebook, will you wish him a happy birthday? That's Ryan Vest. He turns 39 today. My little brother's almost 40. It's incredible, right? And in honor of Ryan, <laughs> I don't know, this is not an honor of Ryan. We have athlete's foot, right? Five rounds, 60 seconds per exercise, including a 60 second rest, right? We're gonna roll through some box jumps, some toes to bars, some kettlebell swings, right? If you don't have boxes, you can jump on stairs. If you don't have stairs, you can do jump squats. I don't recommend you, I recommend you jumping high and landing soft, not landing in a full squat. Um, just because of what we've been doing lately, toes to bars, we've got knee raises, we've got toes to bars, we've got lying on the ground, I've got the movements covered for you, we'll talk about them in a second. And then kettlebell swings, right? I got a little bit of bonus footage just showing you how to set up and practice your kettlebell swing if you feel like you may not be doing it correctly, or if you feel like you could improve on your kettlebell, we're gonna get to that next, all right? So 60 seconds each. I do not, in full disclosure, demonstrate the box jumps for this. What I want you to do is just make sure if you're jumping on a box, you come to the top in full extension. You can jump to the second stair if you want to, or you can practice jumping over something. I'm talking fast because I want to get us to these movement patterns, guys. All right, team, roll into the movements. Here we've got uh, toes to bars. Remember, keep your arms straight if you're doing these at home. You're kicking your shoulders behind. There won't be too many of you guys that are doing this, but um, the thing to notice is when I'm rolling into the kipping, right, I'm getting behind the bar when I'm doing that kip. That's allowing me to string them together, right? Toes to bars. If you don't have toes to bars, but you have something to hang from, you can do strict hanging knee raises, which is what's coming up next. Stay packed, stay tall, stay strong. Don't rush through these, right? You're gonna do them for 60 seconds. If you could just hang there for all 60 seconds and not move, just steady and smooth, just like that, I'd be super happy. Also, you can option out to pick these guys up, right? A little bit of almost rocky, looking like a, a half flag here. What I want you to notice is I'm rolling my spine down on the ground here and pointing my feet. See, I stand together like a nice tight gymnast movement, right? Steady and strong. It's a heck of a good feeling, especially coming into this negative. I wanna make sure my bat does really good, right? Or we can do these knee raises, right? So I'm going straight out, lower back's on the ground, and I'm rolling into that position. Now onto the kettlebell swing. Most of you have done this before, but here's a way to check your kettlebell swing, right? We're gonna look at the distance it is in front of us, right? Palms right over top of that guy. I hinge back and I'm gonna do a pendulum swing right here. So I'm not gonna move my chest. I'm just gonna hike and come back down. Hike, come back down. That's great, you could practice that all day, right? Now I'm gonna hike and add a swing and then come back to the ground and notice I control the bell through the whole range of motion. These are good things to practice warming up those swings, guys. And then I'm just gonna tear into here. I'm gonna inhale and exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Hips straight back, keeping that bell as close to my core as I can. And those are the movements for today's WAD, guys. I hope you enjoy day 66.